And I have a confession to make. I'm 22 years old and shy. Socially awkward, not able to talk properly, extremely confused, alone in a karaoke box. Some of you know, some of you might know, but I have been making YouTube videos since I was 13 years old, so since exactly 10 years now. I tell you, when I was 13, I was extremely socially awkward. I was not able to talk to other people or properly form sentences. Putting out all these weird YouTube videos I've made up until now actually helped me to overcome my social anxiety because I was forced to talk. I mean, I couldn't make videos if I didn't talk. Bruh. Social anxiety and introversion are two different things. I was socially anxious and both introverted. She's like, oh my god, you guys, I'm doing this on balance. I'm doing this on balance. Now, social anxiety is a negative thing because it inhibits your true self and you just can't be the person who you're meant to be. So making YouTube videos actually sparked my imagination. Just, I, th I don't think it's necessarily YouTube, but just doing something, having a hobby, help me overcome my social anxiety the whole trying to overcome my social anxiety just crossed a certain point i thought that fundamentally with me venus is a person something was wrong if i didn't reinvent myself completely people just wouldn't like me i thought i'd have to reinvent myself as a you know as a communication monster a party animal but my personality is not an extroverted party animal um, which I had to realize the rough way. I realized that I'm trying to change something that can't be changed when my methods became increasingly unhealthy. These coping methods work, but they help me feel awful and were not good for my health. For example, whenever I went on a live stream on YouTube, I tried to drink alcohol because it made me all warm and fuzzy and talkative. And I was like, that's what all the cool people do. That's how you really, you know, become a fun person or trying to dope myself to be more hyper with uh, caffeine and sugar it didn't help because normal methods like just breathing focusing and actually you know taking the energy to mm, be more extroverted just solely relying on my willpower to be more extroverted wasn't enough that's because i'm not actually meant to be extroverted i'm introverted honestly very lame. I'm a very lame person. Question! But Venus, aren't you extroverted in your videos? You know how some people just sing and dance naked in front of a mirror while no one's watching? That's sort of what I did, uh, but on camera. But wait, does that mean you'll stop making videos? Of course I want to stop making videos. When I started this YouTube channel, I swore to myself to keep making videos. Instead of using an ornamental hair tie like this, YouTube is like my life's work. If I ever decided to stop making videos here on this Venus Angelic channel, if I ever decided to just sell it to a huge company for several grants, then I think that's the point where I stopped using my brain. If something doesn't work out, you'll just look for a solution. You know, I was always looking for an identity to have, something I could show on camera. But all I needed to do was to look into myself. I'm gonna do all the things I wanted to do but I'm not gonna be very social. Like everybody in YouTube seems so extroverted. Why can't there be a really shy and awkward vlogger? Instead of getting up, checking social media and then meeting my friends, I decided to make a vlog of me in my pajamas, writing in my journal, deciding which book I'm next gonna read, failing at another video game, or making my daydreams into fun drawing. I wanna show people that you can't suck at communication, but still have fun. Social anxiety and introversion are two different things. I don't care if now half of my YouTube channels are gonna unsubscribe and it's just gonna be a pile of boring people. In the end, what matters is that model stress-free life. Right, fellow introverts? Uh, and I'm going to enjoy some karaoke by myself. 
Bye-bye, boo!